Hi, my name is Frederick. Uploaded a day late because he was too busy procrastinating on recording a video and decided to play games with his friends instead on Discord Chen. Now before we go into that ranting agent, which everyone seems to love for some reason, um, I want to talk about a company that decided to give me some free glasses because they're really nice. This is the best I'm gonna give you because the ring light ain't helping. But basically they let me pick out a pair of glasses to try them on, the fake by the way. And uh, once again, I don't do sponsorships ever. I just like getting stuff I like, so suck on that. <laughs> but yeah, I tried them out for like three weeks straight. The glasses are great. And I'm pretty sure you can get them for $5 right now, so look in the description below. Not sponsored, by the way. Alright, now, let me just talk about the rant that it's gonna happen soon. This rant has built up from years of disgust, annoyance, intolerability... That ain't a fucking word, is it? <laughs> and I'm finally ready to let it all out. This is my rant on why I will not speak Chinese towards you. In elementary school, all I felt was kids just being like, oh my god, what what are you? Like, can I, how do I define you? What do I, what do I call you? What fucking species are you? And minorities probably understand this a lot, but everyone always tries to say, oh my god, like, where are you from? I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. But, but where are you from, from? Um, the, the hospital in Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> okay, but like, where are your parents from? You know where they're from? Beijing, motherfucker. And you know what happens in Beijing? Nothing happens in Beijing, actually. <laughs> oh my god, Beijing, that's so cool. Oh my god, you're, you're so cool. Let me write that down, Beijing. How do you spell that? It's spelled F-U-C-K-Y-O-U. Oh, thank you so much, you're welcome. That's what I get, and I still get that today, and it's <sighs> so if you honestly care that much about where I'm from, I'm from my mother's womb. The puss! Next thing I really don't like is when people ask me to say Chinese. Let's just get that out there. Ugh, oh my god, can you speak Chinese? Why? I just want to know what it sounds like. I think it's so cool that you can speak another language. Why? What is so intriguing about hearing a second language that you're only gonna remember for like five seconds and then you're just gonna ask me again next week? You do realize that the majority of schools teach a second language and like you know how to speak that language what are you gonna get out of this what am i gonna get out of this and before you say oh my god frederick stop making a big deal about it just say a chinese word no i'm not a puppet i'm not a monkey i am gay which means i'm petty and i'm gonna do what i want and what i want to do is slap you right now and don't oh don't come up to me and ask me to speak chinese because guess what there's two different versions you know this is what happens all right can you speak chinese all right which kind what what do you mean which kind? Well, first of all, bitch, there's Cantonese and Mandarin. And then you have to explain why there's two different languages and how it originated and like, ugh, just, it all goes back to the Qing Dynasty, no matter what. And it's pronounced Qing, not, not King, not Queen. And I didn't realize how annoyed I'd be by this, but my name tag at work has Chinese characters on it. And a lot of people will come up to me and they'll be like, oh my God, is that your name in Chinese? Frederick does not translate into Chinese like that. No English name translates into Chinese like that. You can't give me Rebecca and I just come up with a word. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. And then when they say, why not? Your name has an origin to an earlier language because guess what? English is not fucking special. But you know, Chinese people, we're cooler than that. We're better than that, okay? Our names symbolize other things. Just like how Frederick means king because I fucking rule this world! And I, I take it lightly most of the time because I get it if like you don't understand how that works. And it's not that far-fetched to see, you know, your name and then Chinese characters under it. But like even then my name in Chinese is two characters long and then you got like my name tag has ten damn characters on it. But it's, it's just... Mm. One more thing. Never ask me to say my middle name. Please. I remember in elementary school, people would be like, how do you pronounce your middle name? And I would say it, and then they tried to say it again. Like, my name has gone into the afterlife because it's been killed so many times. And it's not okay. Please, just don't even try it anymore. And it's only because they don't recognize that name and they already think like, oh, it's Chinese, I wanna hear it. Now, only until middle school did I start becoming, you know, petty about this. So if people would ask me to speak Chinese, I'd start making fun of them in Chinese. Now listen, my accent is not that great, so I have translations here. But if they ask me, oh my god, what's my name in Chinese? I'll just say, 
笨蛋 And let me tell you, these bitches, they're like so turned on by this. They're, ah, oh my god, that's so cool. Literal translation is bad egg, but it means stupid. And then these people, they they take their hair and they're like, oh my god, say a sentence to me. Okay, nisi ga Ah, you're so cool. And this kind of kept on going for a while and since I had Chinese friends who understood me and they were next to me during this time, they would obviously laugh at it because it's so funny to make fun of people in Chinese because that means I get the pleasure of laughing and not you, Susan. But it just kept on evolving into like other places where I really shouldn't be doing it. Like I know my friend bet me one day to go a whole day at school just speaking Chinese. But see, that just proves my point that the second language is not that cool because you will, you will get annoyed by it pretty soon. And then sometimes when I get like advertisements on my home phone, I'll just, I'll pick it up and I'll, I'll go like, Nihao,我甚至在你的家 I know I butchered that. And then the women or man will like yell at me and then leave. And then they never call me again, which is, that's the goal. Let me know if you want me to prank call my friends in Chinese, by the way. But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed, give us the, yep. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or better subscribe because I post videos every Saturday slash Sunday. And listen, join our Discord right now because I'm planning a Q&A and I want to hear your Q&A, so join our fan Discord. I love you guys and everything is less than three.